27 September 2023. This flash is actually a little bit more than a flash. I'm going to talk about some things that is going wrong. And I'm going to start off with Joseph Borrell. And who can remember his famous speech about Europe being the garden and the rest of the world being the jungle? Top EU diplomat warns immigration could dissolve the bloc. The European Union's foreign policy chief, Joseph Borrell, has warned that immigration could become a dissolving force for the 27-nation bloc, arguing that some member states don't want to accept people from the outside. Now, I wonder why is that? But these arrogant globalists, they will never look the facts in the eyes. They will always spin everything. And the European nations allowed Triple X to gather them into the EUSSR. And your eyes may widen, but that's the truth. And you are the new USSR. The EUSSR, complete with your own Politburo. The EU Politburo sitting in Brussels. And that chick, Ursula van der Crazy, in charge of your lives. I think you didn't foresee that coming when you so eagerly started expanding the EU. Or creating the EU for a start. Instead of just having good agreements among one another to make trade and tourism easier. No, 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 no. Let's form a block. Now you've got a block of shit there. In an interview with The Guardian published on Friday, Borrell pointed to rising nationalist sentiment across Europe, noting that we have not been able until now to agree on a common migration policy. Talking shit. It's not a migration policy, it's an immigration policy. Migration is a bigger divide for the European Union and it could be a dissolving force for the European Union, he added. There are some members of the European Union that are Japanese style. We don't want to mix. We don't want migrants. We don't want to accept people from the outside. We want our purity. Well, it looks like the, I almost want to say, the caveman era is returning. The tribes are beginning to realize that outside forces conspired to wipe them out. And I just hope for their part they haven't left it for too late. Because, and this calling it migration, it's fucking immigration, uh, illegal immigration. But it's a planned invasion. I cannot understand why the Europeans cannot see it as an invasion. Because that is exactly what it is. And that invasion is completely in line with the Kalergi plan. They're bringing all those young men in to impregnate the white women and breed the white race out of existence in Europe. That is what they're doing. And then we go to the UK. Now, it's not a, a secret that I've got very, very little good things to say about the British because what they did in my country to my ancestors. And even today they still stirring shit in my country. And look at this, I'm going to say, hilarious situation. John Smith tweeted, We must be the only country in the world who have allowed foreigners to run the country. And look at that. The Prime Minister, they say, he's not the Prime Minister. He's a Klaus Schwab appointed 
WEF governor of the British colony of the WEF. And that governor is making sure that the WEF soldiers have free access to, the, to Britain, plus they are treated like royalty. I read that article last night in which the guy says, a British guy that worked his whole life goes on a pension, something like 1,700 pounds. And these illegals, they beach on a rubber duck and the government gives them 2,200 pounds immediately for as long as it takes. And then we get to London, that mayor of London, which is no longer London, it's Londonistan. And look at Scotland. Can you believe it? But they are allowing it. The British people allowed this to happen to them. And then we go to this warmonger in the US. Senator Lindsey Graham snarked again about how the Russian army has been destroyed and not one American has died. So we should continue to support Ukraine. Here's what I don't get. If the Russian army has been destroyed, why aren't the Ukrainians in Crimea yet as they predicted? And American soldiers aren't dying in Ukraine, of course. They're just mysteriously crashing in helicopters in the Appalachians. Well, that is also true. Uh, if the world cannot see that the Americans is actually the global terrorists. If you cannot see that, there's something wrong with your eyesight, something wrong with your ears, and most importantly, something wrong with your brain. And listen to this joker. David Roth Lindbergh tweeted, Too funny, almost spilled my coffee over my computer. Why? US Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin tells the Russian military to not hunt for Abrams tanks. The repetition of the situation with the German leopards is unacceptable. When they were hunted, I saw these calls play by the rules. What the fuck is the rules? Allow the Americans to go free. That's not going to happen. I want to see the first Abrams burning. And it's not far off. Definitely not. And then we get to Zimbabwe. And can you believe this? Miss Zimbabwe, white people are making a comeback. I saw this article and I couldn't believe my eyes. And then I checked around and I saw a few posts about it. But fair is fair. Why must this girl be penalized in her own country? because she's white and it is perceived to be a black country. And that's the same shit we have in South Africa. And I'm just going to throw this in for you to think about. There's a lot of talks about secession and folk starter and independent states and all of that. But if I look through the comments and I look through all the things that I'm looking at, to me, I think that the real reason for that big drive for secession is because of the racial discrimination in South Africa. I am of opinion, if the government gets up tomorrow morning and say, right, no more BEE, no more racism, and white people are entitled to their existence in South Africa. 90% of all of this folk start and secession shit will disappear. But that's me. Please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. Thank you for your support. And I want to 
say again, thanks to the people that support the channel financially. If you look in the description of the video and in the pinned comment, there are options of how you can support the channel. Thank you.